What's going on, everybody? It's Doc Remedy here. Um, I'm going to do this little video, and I'm going to highlight some of my favorite equalizers and tell you some of my favorite features of each. I got this track here. Um, someone was generous enough that I'm doing some work for to give me the acapella stems for this track featuring Be Real from Cypress Hill. Um, so I'm going to play around with these vocals and go through some of my favorite equalizers or favorite highlights of each equalizer. First one up is going to be Isotope Nectar. Nectar is a fantastic vocal suite, uh, first off. The one drawback I do not like about it is it has the delay and the reverb and everything built in, which is kind of cool. But on larger tracks where I want to create them as send tracks... I do not have the ability to do that with the delay and reverb natively. I could still do it, I just wouldn't use it within the plugin here. Um, other than that, you can move everything around, the effects chains and signal flow, however you want, really. Um, my favorite part of their EQ, not only is it actually a really good EQ, it's got eight bands as you can see, all types of different shelves and, and stuff that you can add to it. Uh, bell curves, all kinds of stuff, uh, low pass, high pass, you know, all kinds of things. But the one thing I really like about it is the ability to, well, obviously channel sweep. You can channel sweep like this in audio. But on a Mac, it would be option. On my computer, it would be the alt button. I can do this. I could play the audio, hold alt, and if I'm holding alt, I can frequency sweep through only having that frequency playing without utilizing or moving or creating a separate band during the sweeping process which is really sweet so here check this out hey h never come with the whack flow only got one mission to stack so you better step back when the mac flow kick tack with that heater in the back yo we make and that allows me to find my team got a scheme getting out first hey h never come with the whack flow only got one mission uh, frequencies that i think are a little harsh that i might want to put a little cut on and in addition to that, it also team got a scheme, uh, maybe someone want a little boost. Eight, eight, never come with the whack flow. Boost, Only got you know, one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot burst. My team got a scheme, get it out first. Eight, never come with the whack flow. Only got yeah. one mission to stack, though. You better it's step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot burst. Um, My team got a scheme, get it out first. Eight, never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it so here, we're going to move along to the next one. The next one is one of my favorites, actually. Um, it's fairly amazing. It's got all kinds of sweet features. We're not going to get on to them now. But FabFilter Pro Q2, I think, is a beautiful equalizer. Not only does it just allow you to create your band yourself, which is fantastic. You can do whatever you would like. It's absolutely amazing. Um... You can do frequency sweeping as well, but instead of the alt button, as you can see here, I can just click this little headphone, which shows me just this frequency, and I can move that around. But it's cool because I can adjust the, the cue or the bandwidth while I'm moving it around, and I can sweep through. So here, I'll play the... Get all jump with the hot burst. My t Back, yo, we make it all jump just, with the hot burst. My team got a scheme getting out first. Eight, eight, so never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot burst. My team got a scheme getting out first. Eight, eight, never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot burst. My team got a scheme getting out first. Eight, eight, never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with uh, the hot burst. My team got a scheme getting out first. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot burst. My team got a scheme getting out first. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot burst. My team got a scheme getting out first. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. I'll stop this. EQ match allows me to pull this up. I could create a side chain and I could analyze the incoming graphical data that comes from another signal and I can try to match this and copy it into this and try to um, match the signal from another source 
and it kind of creates the EQ for it. The, one of the f really sweet benefits of that is if you're working on a song that features multiple artists that may have all recorded in different uh, environments, different rooms, uh, different microphones, you know, trying to match it a little bit, um, the room noise, it really helps a lot with that, which is really, really, really sweet. And also, um, if you're more of a home studio person and you have a song that came out really, really, really good, and you're like, man, I would love to match that EQ, or you have a buddy and you really want to match some of the energy and some of the resonating um, harmonics in it, you could just do that as well, which is fantastic. But that's a whole different tutorial, because that's like, you got to teach you how to use that one. <laughs> this one I really, really like. I'm uh, an avid uh, no pun intended. I'm an avid Studio One user. Sold my Pro Tools rig about a year and a half ago, and I haven't looked back yet. This is very basic, something that you would even see in Pro Tools. Um, Waves has a lot of things similar to this. One of my favorite features uh, with this one, obviously, you know, it's got your, your low cut, uh, your high cut. It allows you to change the shelves of them, you know, the peaks and everything. But um, the one thing I really, really, really like about this one is right down here is the auto gain. So unlike, unlike a lot of passive EQs, um, this has the gain uh, built in right here. So when you boost a signal, you are technically changing the overall volume of the signal because it's being amplified. As opposed to when you attenuate or when you reduce something, you're not really changing much of the overall perceived volume per se, especially since a lot of times um, cuts are more of a n narrow uh, bandwidth band anyways. But when you hear, watch. No click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all it jump with the hot verse. My team got a scene, so get an opera. Eight do eights do never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back from the uh, Mac, bro. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an opera. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back from the Mac, bro. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. I think is absolutely amazing. It's one of the main reasons that I will use this sometimes and go to, especially. Especially um, if I have a lot of instruments in the mix that are a little bit muddy or their frequencies are clashing. The other one that I really, really like, um, this is a, just like Isotope, it is a series of plugins. It's a chain, if you will, a suite. Um, but they have this, it's called Fat Channel XT. Uh, this is the updated version that comes with Studio One 3.5. This one I really like because it's an emulation of the Paltec equalizers, which were amazing passive equalizers. Uh, passive equalizer just basically means that the output signal will never exceed the input signal. It doesn't have the ability to boost the signal. It can't create any more energy than is already coming in. It needs an external amplifier outside of the fact, if you will. Um, but what I really like about it is it just sounds good. It sounds absolutely amazing. It's great with instruments. It's great with vocals. See here you have uh, your individual bands, 20, 30, 60, 100 hertz. And you can either boost that signal or you could attenuate. Also means reduce the signal. You might wonder, like, you know, why would you want to boost a signal and reduce the same bandwidth? That doesn't really make much sense. But it actually creates... It's a little subtle, but it creates a very cool effect. It just helps round out and smooth out that band a little bit. And it's amazing. It's something that people always praised and loved about the Paltex. Um, so let me just show you this a little bit because I want you to hear the sound. So um, let me turn all these down. So we're only focusing here. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make range. it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an opera. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. Give you better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an opera. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an opera. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, so, so yeah, you better step good. back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater the in the back, here, yo. We the make bandwidth, it. The bandwidth affects everything over here. So here is where you can boost, attenuate again. This attenuator has its own frequency band selection 5 kilohertz, 10, 20. So it's almost acting like a, um, a filter, if you will, to filter it down. But it works hand-in-hand hand with this. So here I can add a little clarity 
to the vocals, and it sweetens it up without adding too much um, sibilance, which is really fantastic here. Eight-eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My it team got a scheme, get enough first. Eight-eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step See, back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the, the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get enough first. Eight-eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get enough first. Eight-eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack, though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click, clack with that heater in the back. So that's that. I absolutely love this, uh, this equalizer here. In addition to that, we also have, which is made by Waves, this. Essentially the same thing, the same knobs and everything. What I like about this one is it shows the VU meter. And that's absolutely awesome. And this one isn't as um, restrictive because it also allows you to add the overall gain at the end, which is cool because on a passive EQ, especially when you're working in Digital Whelm, you kind of need that gain after fact. Um, so that's really cool. It's, a, it's an alternative to it. But it's also resource heavy. Um, obviously, this is a fantastic equalizer, also made by Waves. Um, once again, just like the Pro Q2, it allows you to grab the notes and nodes in your bands according to the frequencies that they are down here. And uh, most people call this the piano roll, which is fantastic. Um, this one adds a little bit of noise uh, to the overall sound. Um, it's subtle once again. But this equalizer sounds absolutely amazing. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack on. though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an out first. Eight eights never come good. with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click. So this one was revolutionary, kind of when it came out because of the freeze and peak hold, which allows you click clack to with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme. Get as you can see and you can copy and paste those and you could try to match the levels but like I said with the Pro Q they have the match feature that allows you to actually import it which is absolutely amazing I don't use this as much as I used to ever since I switched from Pro Tools but nonetheless it's a great sound and equalizer it allows you to switch between stereo and mono and everything which is helpful um, I actually have that feature right here now in Studio One um, so that is that and then last but not least if you're just looking for something that is a more classic graphic EQ where you don't quite have adjustments of your Q parameters your bandwidths but you need plenty of bands to choose from I mean you cannot this is made by waves you cannot find a better digital graphic EQ in my in my opinion this is absolutely amazing so that is that and um, now, last but not least, these are my newest gems to the mix. These are fantastic. This is all made by Slate Digital. Slate Digital makes some absolutely wonderful thing. This right here, this lift, this allows you to add high end and low end to round out and sweeten vocals, once again, without adding any sibilance or anything. And it's absolutely amazing. Let me show you this. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an out first. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the Mac blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. My team got a scheme, get an out first. Eight eights never come with the whack flow. Only got one mission to stack though. You better step back when the I Mac mean, blow. Click clack with that heater in the back, yo. We make it all jump with the hot verse. It just My sounds team good. It's absolutely amazing. And then, of course, if you're looking for this, this is a lot closer to the graphic EQ in a sense that you don't have too much control over the Q or the bandwidth or anything. What you're mainly adjusting is the bands and the boost. But this one just sounds good. These all sound, they all have like a, a, a resonating harmonic to them. They add a lot of nice harmonics to your mixes, which I've come to appreciate a lot so far. That almost is reminiscent of, of tubes of old tube equalizers, and it's absolutely amazing. 
Um, those are probably my favorite equalizers that I'm using right now. And depending on the given track, I use all, all of them, you know, on a weekly basis, depending on what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was lengthy, but, you know, I had a lot to talk about. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully there's more videos coming. Uh, Doc Remedy. I do offer uh, mixing and uh, sometimes mastering. I like to outsource that. But mixing services as well. I have a pretty nice, um, you know, a, a pretty nice list of people that I've worked with. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed everything and see you next time. Have a good one.